Yes, it's still winter, but one Fort Wayne organization is looking ahead to baseball season. The World Baseball Academy is asking for legacy money to help pay for outdoor lights, and City Council is set to make their decision tonight. News Channel 15's Michael Kuhn is live from the fields this morning with more on how that project could affect the community. Good morning, Michael. Hey, good morning, Pat and Tara. It's been about four months since the World Baseball Academy unveiled these new turf fields, but there's still one major thing missing, the lights. And as you can see right now, there are no lights on because they're not, they don't exist yet. But that is what city leaders and organizational leaders are trying to change. And joining me this morning is one of those leaders, Linda Buzkirk with the WBA. Thanks for being here this morning. My pleasure. We, we normally would not be playing baseball at 5 in the morning, I just want to say. But uh, it's great to have you here. Hey, but with those new lights, if you get them, you could. No, we could. We could, but we won't. <laughs> it's good advice. Yeah. Good advice. You don't want to be playing yeah. baseball at 5 yeah. in the morning. Well, right. tell us a little bit about this project. Uh, we have uh, really been excited by having a lot of community support and over the last four years uh, we've raised nearly three million dollars from the community, individuals, uh, foundations and companies because they've seen the great uh, benefit that it is for Fort Wayne to have an asset like this. and. Uh it's a, it's a beautiful set of fields, three fields with artificial surface infields, natural grass outfields, uh, so lights are the last component for it. So what kind of impact will those lights have on the players and the community as a whole? Well, first of all, the lights will really help us capitalize on having these beautiful fields, which I think members of City Council and Mayor Henry have realized uh, is important because now that we have this asset, let's make the most of it. So we'll be able to use the fields a great deal. In fact, without the lights, we're only at 65 to 70 percent of capacity as far as just daylight hours uh, being able to use the fields. So it will uh, increase our ability for economic impact with tournaments because we'll be able to schedule more games and we'll have a lot more opportunities for the community to use the fields during the week. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us this morning once again on this early cold morning. We appreciate you being here. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll be talking with WBA's CEO to talk a little bit more about this project and the impact it could have on the community. For now, back to you, Pat and Tara.